Hey, how's it going guys? This video is to show you guys how to convert MIDI into audio in Logic Pro X. Uh, the first thing you want to do is when you open up Logic, um, you want to click on this plus sign right here. And uh, this will give you the options to the type of channel that you want to open up. To, uh, open up. And in this case, we're going to use a software instrument. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to go to create. And uh, by default, it opens up this uh, electric piano. And uh, we can see it right here. Um, when you open up this uh, channel, it comes with some effects. So if you don't want the effects on there, if you can, I think it might have some reverb. If you don't want those effects on there, you can just uh, click right here on the arrow and uh, hold on to it and click on no send on both of these. Because like I said, by default, it comes with some type of effects on there. So now it's dry. But anyway, uh, what you want to do is uh, hit record. I've got a shortcut on my keyboard, uh, which is on number three. Uh, let me reset this. It starts to record, and all you got to do is just start playing. And once you record the MIDI data, what you want to do, it's very simple. All you got to do is right click on this region, put your mouse anywhere on this region, right click, go to bounce and join, select bounce and, bounce in place. And what it's going to do, it's going to open up these options right here. And basically, just leave everything the same. If you want to rename it, you can rename it. One thing that I suggest is make sure that normalize is always off. Because if you select this and you look at this option right here, overlo overload protection only, if you select that or if that's selected, what it does, it changes the sound. It kind of like compresses it. And it doesn't, you won't get the actual sound that you recorded. It, it loses quality, basically. So make sure that's off. Just hit OK. So now it bounced it in place and now it converted it to audio. And what's cool is that uh, this MIDI track right here, it, it already muted it for you. So now we just have the audio track to record with. So if we click play. There, that's what we recorded. So now you can go in there and do your edits. Uh, you can add uh, any type of uh, plugin that you want. And uh, that's it. That's basically it. And you can leave this. Uh, MIDI as a reference if you want to come back here and you have to do some changes to this add some notes or whatever you can always come back to this original track and go through the same process and bounce it again um, I hope you like this video you know this, these videos are more for beginners I know that when I started using Logic it was really hard to find these videos online and that's the reason I'm making these so if you guys like what you saw you know um, subscribe uh, leave your comments if there's any type of video that you want me to do just let me know uh, thanks for watching